Hey guys, welcome to a brand new Let's Play for RimWorld. This is going to be Alpha 8. We are on Season 2. This is going to be Part 1. Now, some of you might be asking, well, Cage, why are you starting a new world already? You only got up to, you know, Part 6. Well, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, my computer died last week and I lost all my save files, so we're going to have to be starting over. Um, not really all that bummed out about it. I feel like I learned a lot last game and I'm going to be able to apply some of those, you know, some of that knowledge to this upcoming game. So let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna have to do here is create a new world. Uh, let's randomize the seed a few times and generate. All right, that's pretty weird. Um, let's do another one. <laughs> generate. There you go, that's a little better. Okay, that's a nice looking world. Let's save and finish. All right, so now we need to do a new colony. We're gonna be playing on Cassandra Classic or we're gonna play on Rough. And select our world. All right, now we have to decide a place to start. Uh, do you want to start in the north? Or a little bit more towards the middle? That looks like a good spot. All right, let's see what we got here. Elevation, 419 meters. Average temperature is 48 degrees Fahrenheit. By the way, I changed all the degrees to Fahrenheit. Average temperature in January is 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Average temperature in July is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Nice and cool. I like that. Uh, the biome is a temperate forest, mountain range, rainfall, you know, granite, marble, granite, marble, and slate. And the growing period is April to September. That sounds pretty good. Let's select that site. All right. Now we're going to have to go through and randomize a bunch of this stuff. I tried recording this a couple times today and I've been having some issues. So I'm going to uh, actually pause this right now, make a bunch of decisions here on who I want to come with me on this expedition. And uh, when I'm done, I will show you who I chose and why and explain to you their skill set. So I'll see you then. Okay, I chose a few people here. Um, I didn't take too much time doing it because, to be perfectly honest, I've been choosing these people a lot recently because I tried to record this video like three times already. But I think I got some pretty decent guys here. Right here we got a good guy. Um, he's good at shooting, good at melee, cooking, and medicine. Not to mention crafting. I uh, can't research, but that's okay. And uh, the rest of the stuff's kind of meh. But um, oh, he looks pretty interesting. Uh, right here we have an all-around good constructor, grower, researcher, and miner. Uh, he can also do some cooking in a pinch. And right here we have a good social, cooking, medicine, and research person. Now, what's happening while I'm making these videos is I keep uh, crashing out when I load the game. Uh, basically what happened is I'll hit start right now, and if I'm recording it'll crash the game. Uh, so I'm going to actually pause the video here and I'll come back once I'm done loading. Okay, and here we are. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this game is all about, this game is kind of like uh, Dwarf Fortress. We are three, um, I guess, astronauts who like crash landed here on this uh, hostile environment, and we need to survive. Um, each of your guys has a health meter here, a bunch of stuff that's going on with them. Uh, they have their skill trees, which we've already seen. They've got their gear, and they've got their thoughts. You've got to keep them... Uh, in good spirits or they will go crazy and start shooting up the place. Uh, they could have a mental break and you do not want that. Uh, we'll get into that, what, what you need to do about that later. Um, I looked over the area here. This is a pretty nice starting area to be honest. Um, I'm think I'm gonna live down in here and there's a steam geyser right here. Actually, there's steam geyser over here. I could probably mine through to this steam geyser. Um, and this one will be a lot more protected. Uh, so we're, we're looking pretty good. I could actually probably put some of my first buildings in here as well. So basically we got it on the ground here is a bunch of crap. Okay, right here is some steel. If you double click on the steel, it'll just click all the steel in the area. Like so. And then you press F and that'll unforbidden it, which means your colonists will, will haul those items. We're gonna do the same thing with silver. Silver is kind of like your currency. Um, we got right here, we got some medicine and some survival meals. We also have guns on the ground. We gotta see who our, um, who our, our best uh, shooters are. So, oh, there you go right there. So we're gonna give him the Enfield. All right, equip the Enfield. Uh, what about you? You are very weak at shooting. Yeah, these two are about the same at shooting. So whatever, you take the knife and you take the other gun. Okay. So now we need a drop-off. We need two drop-off areas. We need a drop-off for garbage and a drop-off for uh, important stuff. So um, I'm thinking go to Architect, go to Zones. All right, Stockpile. 
and uh, make a stockpile right like that. All right, then we'll make a dumping stockpile for the garbage. All right, now we're gonna need some growing areas uh, for crops. So we'll make a couple of those, put one right there, and then we will make another one that's gonna be a little smaller, which is gonna be for, this first one's going to be for food, which is going to be potatoes, and the second one is going to be for cloth, which is going to be cotton plants. Okay, so now we got that started. We need to take a look at the overview of our priority list for our guys. Okay, um, right here we have uh, John, Decker, and Brett. Actually, those aren't terrible names. Uh, maybe I won't rename them. I'm not sure. I'll probably rename them at some point. Can I re rename them from here? Forget how to rename them. Character. Here we go. John, okay, we'll name you Cage. Actually, I probably shouldn't put myself in here. Who should John be? Let's make John DJ Quad. No, I'm not, I don't have any preset ideas on what I want these names to be, so I'm just gonna kinda go off the top of my head. All right, so we got Brett. So we will make Brett's uh, DTC. And who's the other one? Decker. Oh, they're all male. Okay. Well, we'll make a uh, Decker Lord Terror. How about that? Lord Terror. These are all mods on my uh, on my stream, by the way. I don't know why I named them that. I just did. Okay, so here we go. Alright, so let's take a look at the overview and who's good at what. Okay, we've got doctoring, patient, uh, basically these pri uh, firefighting... Oh god, I've got someone who can't firefight. That's so irritating. Um, we got firefighting number one, then they'll doctor. What are you? You're the you're a good doctor. Six of twenty. Yeah, you could both doctor. That's fine. Patient is fine. Warden, you're my warden. Cooking, okay. You're both good at cooking. You are good at hunting. Construction. These guys aren't really good at construction, but we might want to put those on. We might want to put on construction there. Uh, repairing. That's not really too much of a big deal right now. Growing. I only want one person growing. So we'll just have you growing. Mining. Uh, I want you all mining. Plant cutting. That's cutting down trees. I want you all cutting down trees. Crafting doesn't matter. Neither does art. Okay. All right. So there we go. So actually, let's uh, set them up to cut down some trees as well. Because wood is going to be very important to us early on. There we go. And uh, let's start the game. All right, so the first thing, we need to build a room, and the colonists need beds. All right, so we're going to need wood for that. Um, basically, what will happen is you won't, see, uh, up here in the left-hand corner, will tell you what you have. But if what you have is not in your stockpile, it won't show up. So even though you might have a bunch of wood or lying around your base, if it's not in the stockpile, it won't show up as, as what you have. So you got to remember that. Because right here we have some wood, it's just not showing up. Alright, so... Alright, let's take a look at some structures here. We have regular walls. There, You have regular walls, and then you have conduit walls. Conduit walls are a little bit more expensive, but they come with, uh, they come with uh, pre-made, like, uh, electrical systems going through them. I tend not to use them. I usually just use regular walls, and if I want to run electrical systems, I do it manually. Alright, so let's go right here. So we got one, two, three, and a wall. Okay, then uh, we're going to make one right here. Now, these are going to be the colonist bedrooms, and colonists have a certain amount of space they require for them to be happy. And uh, six by five usually works pretty well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, wall. One, two, three, four, one, one, nah. one, two, three, four, five, wall. All right, let me remeasure this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And uh, let's take a look over here. One, one, two, three, four, five, wall. There we go. All right, we're going to need some doors in there. 
So let's go ahead and put some doors, wood doors. We're gonna need some furniture because we're gonna need some wooden beds. Bed, bed. They all they're also happier if they get their own rooms. That's why I'm I'm putting them in their own rooms. Light source, light source, light source. Speaking of light sources, let's get some solar generators going. Not sure where I want to put these. Uh, they're getting right here. Probably be good. And we're going to need some batteries. Two batteries in there. Uh, we're going to need some pow power conduits to feed the batteries. Oops. That was a mistake. Okay, so we, we leave the... Uh, Actually, you know, yeah, whatever. We'll leave that into the batteries. All right, that's enough work for them. Get to work, people. And there they go. Now they're going to construct until there's nothing more to construct. If there's nothing to construct, then they're going to go to the next thing, which would be plant cutting, which is what they're going to need to construct. Because if they stop constructing, it's because they're out of wood. And plant cutting will fi will finish that, uh, fix that problem. All right, they need beds, we need power, okay. All right, there they go, they're coming up, they're hauling everything. It looks like they're eating. We are gonna need a place for them to eat. But first things first, we need their beds made. How about you um, prioritize? Oh, can't build the bed, they need materials. Come on, DJ Quad, build the bed, bro. She's building the walls and stuff. He should be prioritizing the bed. Oh, well, whatever. He'll be fine. All right, so Lord Terror is our grower. DTC's building. DJ Quad is also building. Cutting down some trees and building. The batteries are getting power. So now we will run the power lines from the batteries. Straight into here. That way the, the doors will get power. I mean, the doors don't need power, but the thing is you can make automatic doors later on if you want, so it'll be set up to do that if, if I need to. Okay. All right, it seems like they're eating up here. All right, so he's doing the growing. We've got the crops all going. Just got to finish this one spot right here. Let's see what they're thinking about. Um, they, they're not happy. They He slept outside and they ate off the ground. Um, yeah, they're because their rooms weren't weren't finished. That's fine. They start with, a, they start with, um, your colonists start with a thing called new colony opti optimism, which, you know, kind of negates all like the starting effects and stuff. So you have a little bit of leeway there, which is nice. Come on guys. Finish that. Oh, it was finished somehow. Okay. All right, we'll let them cut down those trees. We should also check out our miner. Who's our good miner? Five, three, two, okay, you're a good miner. So you could go to manual priorities here and uh, set, like, if I want Lord Terror to be the, like, really mine, then there. Now he'll mine over all else. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't go by high priority to low priority. It goes towards the numbers and where the numbers are. I kind of like manual priorities better, and I'll probably use them more and more as the game goes along. As a matter of fact, let's set him up with some orders for mining. We got some uh, steel here. Now he should shoot right in and start mining. Okay. I must designate uh, this... Th I can't mine this. Um, I'm supposed to be able to claim... Must designate impassable miner. I'm supposed to be able to claim this area. I'm not sure. Like, I've claimed blocks before that I couldn't mine. 
And then they let me mine them. And it's not letting me mine at this time. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong here. I'm not sure. Worry about that later. Alright, we need someone to be a hauler. Um, who is the worst plant cutter? Oh god, they're all terrible plant cutters. Who is our grower? Yeah, three. Okay. I didn't put him on... Okay, so I messed that up. I meant to put uh, Lord Terror on three mining, but I put him on three growing. It's okay, though. Three growing is important. He needs to be... He needs to be growing more than anything. So actually we'll put growing on number one and then we'll put, we'll put repairing on number, not repairing, come on, cage mining. There you go. Put mining on number three. That way he will grow first. If there's nothing to grow, then he'll mine. They seem to all be mining. Who is the other miner? Who's mining with him? DJ Quad and DTC. All right, so you know what? I need to, I need to have you guys do some hauling. Basically, what's going on is there's wood all over the place because nobody's hauling it, and I really need some hauling done. So, okay, let's have you do some more mining. So we should have one miner and everybody. Okay, here we go. We got a um. What you what'll happen is you will get um emails. Uh, you know, telling you what's going on. Like right now, you've detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. So that's pretty good. We'll jump to location. Um, that's some good stuff right there. Well, limestone, I don't really care about that. But we will grab the food. Okay, so now they're putting everything in the stockpile. And you can see up here, um, my wood is going up because it's in the stockpile. They're going to do the same thing with the metals good that's real good all right we got another email here um someone's visiting from another colony there's other colonies that live around you and um i basically choose to ignore them because i don't really know if they really do anything for you but um i don't really pay much attention to them basically the from what i understand the only thing you can really do with them is capture them and then everyone will get pissed off at you and come fight you so i don't normally do that uh wooden auto door oh i put in auto doors didn't i Yes, I did. I put an auto door. So, okay. So there's two kinds of doors. There's regular doors and there's auto doors. A regular door is 25 wood and an auto door is 25 wood and 35 steel. So we definitely should not have put in auto doors there. It's just a waste. If people do walk through auto doors quicker, but it's, it's not really worth it. All right. Again, why can I not claim this? Must designate abandoned artificial structures that's not abandoned hmm okay let's look into that all right we're gonna need a place for our guys to eat so let's go ahead and uh, set up a structure for them to eat at uh, we can definitely do it back here uh, I'm not sure how big it needs to be uh, I'll probably build what needs to go in it first we're gonna need a nutrient paste dispenser. One, two, three, wall. Then it's gonna need, you're gonna need some hoppers next to the dispenser. Then we're gonna need some walls. Structure, wood walls. Okay, then we're gonna need some furniture. We're gonna need a nice little, uh, nice big ass table for people to sit at. Then we're gonna need some stools for them to sit at. One, two, three, we'll put down four, just cause we can. And I think that's just about it for this room, so. Do like that, and then let's make a couple doors. Door there, door there. And let's give it some light. Uh, sh furniture, standing lamps, I'm thinking like right here and here. Should probably be good. Now we need to run some power to it. Uh, 
And this, yeah, there we go. You see, yeah, you can run your own power sources. It's it's. It's a lot easier to do that. Look at these guys creeping on my guys while, while my guys are sleeping. Let's see if my guys are happy. Are you happy, DTC? Yes, you are happy. They're only pissed off that they ate off the ground, which is fine. I can live with that. This guy's happy as a clam. Lord Terra just loves mining. As a matter of fact, we will have him mine right through this. Okay. So it seems like a lot more hauling is going on. They got to grab the food from over here. That's fine. Um, oh boy, what's going on? A local squirrel has gone mad. Oh boy. What is he in the mountain? Okay. So if a local squirrel has gone mad, who's my firefighting guy? I forgot. I think it's DTC? No. What is it? Uh, DJ Quad. Okay. DJ Quad. You are being drafted. And let's find that squirrel. Uh, I don't know where the squirrel is now. Is that him? Nope, that's a boom rat. I don't know where that squirrel is. There he is. That's him, right? No? Is that him? Where is that damn squirrel? I don't know where this squirrel is, so... A civil servant from blah 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 is passing by. Okay, who cares? Alright, screw it. I'm sending DJ Quad back to work I don't know where the hell that squirrel is. Okay. Now we got some meals. All right. So what happens is, whenever anything is uh, is made, any food is made, you you'll basically eat it raw. And if you eat it raw, they're gonna get they're gonna get aggravated. So what you do is you make the nutrient paste dispenser, and uh, the nutrient paste dispenser is gonna turn the food into a nutrient paste, which still makes them mad, but not as much. After that, we will make a butchering table and like a, a cooking area, and then we'll have cooked meals, and that'll make them less mad. If actually, I think cooked me meals might not make them mad at all, so that'd be pretty sweet. Doing pretty good here. We do have to worry about some defenses, um, so let's uh, let's let's make a structure here for some defense. Um, let's start right here. Let's pause it. Start right here. Come across here. All right, now we need to open up some areas for choke choke points. I'm thinking one right there and one right here. All right, so now what we do is we have this come out like this. I don't know why, just because I don't know. It looks pretty cool, I guess. Like that. Then we're gonna then we're gonna uh, come to uh, security and we're gonna deal with some sandbags. Have some sandbags come out. Uh, let me think about how I want to do this. Actually, I don't know. Maybe maybe not the sandbags like that. Maybe like this. Yeah, like that. Four, was that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Was that the fifth? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it was. Two, three, four, five. There we go. And then we'll put a couple turrets behind these. Okay. How, how much are turrets? Yeah, 160 steel each. But we do have a good amount of steel, so. Alright. Okay, you know what? Um, hauling has to be less... Uh, we need construction now for you guys. Uh, three, two, two. There we go. Construction. I need. I need all these guys to do construction. I should have enough. Uh, I should have enough steel to get those. Uh, to get those um, turrets up, but 
yeah. Anyway, so that's my timer. So we, we got pretty far in this one. I, uh, you know, we caught up pretty pretty close to where we were, you know, last season. So we are almost there, and uh, that's going to be it for part one. And we'll see you next time for part two. Till then, take it easy.